Today, I'm gonna to show you how to clean massive, ugly data sets in seconds using the trim, clean, substitute, and tech split functions in Excel. These are the holy grail of data cleaning. So in this tutorial, you'll learn how to go from data to disaster to presentation ready using dynamic formulas that automate all the cleaning. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in Excel, I have a workbook here with a customer ID, first name, last name, email, city, and so on and so forth. But what we can notice is that there's gonna be extra little spaces between each one of these categories and between the words. So example, J9, the customer from Webform, has additional spaces in between each word. All right, so I'm gonna copy my headers right here and press Control C and bring those over with Control V. Um, and then we notice all the spaces in between the words here. So for instance, on J9, we see customer from web form, and we notice that there's additional spaces between each word. So we're gonna go ahead and clear that up. Uh, we're gonna press equals trim, and we'll start with our customer ID. We'll press enter, and we'll press control C to copy that over, and shift right, and then control V. And then what I'm gonna do is control space to select all of these columns, and then I'm gonna press Alt H O I to reformat them so that they all fit appropriately, which is an awesome pro tip using just your keyboard in Excel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these, then we're gonna press Control C to copy all of this, and we're gonna drop it low, press Control V, and now we see, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up one more time, Control Space, Alt H O I to clean it up, and now we see all of our data looks fantastic. There's no more spaces, there's no more issues here. And now we have a nice clean data set, comparatively speaking to what we were initially working with. But here's where a lot of people go wrong. Trim only removes the regular spaces, not non-breaking spaces or weird invisible characters that come from the web or a PDF data. So while Trim cleans up the obvious mess, we'll need to combine it with something stronger. Oh, and that reminds me, also look in the description for a practice file that you can follow along to as well. Next is clean. This one removes non-printable characters, things like line breaks, tabs, and hidden codes that Excel can't display but still recognizes. So here's an example. If your data has weird symbols or text that break across two lines, clean will fix that. Let's go ahead and take a look in Excel. All right, so we'll do the same thing. We'll press copy and we'll bring this over. Press Control V, Alt H O I to clean that up. And then we're gonna press equals clean. And then we're gonna tab over to our customer ID and press enter. I'm gonna copy this. And then we're gonna use shift right and then press control R. And that sends over the entire function yet again. And then we're gonna press control space to select all of our columns. And then we'll press alt H O I to clean this up. And then we see like all this junk that we had in here, these different characters, the these little spaces and up arrows are all gone. So what I'm gonna do to get a full data set here is I'm gonna press shift control over to select all of my data, press control C, and then I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom using control down, and then press control V right here. And then what I can do is select all these rows right here, press control V, and now I have a very clean data set with all the special characters now removed. And then what I can do, I notice that some of the city names are exceeding the uh, the column limits. So I'll go ahead and select my entire data set here and then press Alt H O I and we'll clean that up. That way everything looks super tight and nice and uh, tidy there. But some messes are more stubborn especially when data comes from websites and PDFs, and that's where Substitute comes in. Substitute is like Excel's version of like find and replace, but inside of a formula. It lets you replace any character or string with something else. So we're back in Excel, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Substitute function real quick. I'm gonna press equals Substitute. And then you can see in the name, we have this little like delimiter line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press that, as our text, and then I'm press comma, and then in quotations, I'm gonna put in that little line here, followed by another quotations, followed by a comma, and then our new text will be quotations, space, quotations, and we'll go ahead and close that. And we see that Alex Jones pops up without that line separating the first name and the last name. So pretty good example, and we can drop that, you know, a few rows down so you can see what it does and cleans up the, uh, the data there. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna combine a couple of our functions. So in cell K4, I'm gonna press equals trim, clean, and then substitute. And then I'm gonna select our text. 
put a comma and then put quotations and put our little line, quotations, comma, space, and close it with one parenthesis, two and three, since we have three different functions here. And I'll go ahead and press enter. And then I'll bring that, let's go ahead and copy it, shift over with right, and then press control V. And let's go ahead and press control space to swipe all, we'll press all HOI to clean that up. And we see that when we combine all three of these functions, we got rid of, let me go ahead and drop it low so we can see more of an example here. Alt H O I again to clean it up. And then we see that we don't have any of our funky characters. We don't have that line delimiting the first name and the last name. And then we also don't have any random spaces in our notes. So combining these three functions is like a triple threat formula. It's like sending your data through a car wash. First, we remove the mud with the clean function. Then we scrub the residue with a substitute. And finally, we polish it to perfection with trim. And at this point, your data should look clean. But sometimes you wanna go a step further and actually split messy text into columns automatically. So let's go ahead and meet text split, Excel's dynamic formula superhero. It takes a single messy string and automatically splits it into multiple cells or columns based on a delimiter, like a comma, a dash, or even a space. All right, so we're back in Excel and we're gonna look at the text split function. And we can see that there's these funky little semicolons breaking up our product, our quantity, and also our price. So what we can do is I'm gonna select three columns here and right click and insert. And then what I'm gonna do is press equals text split, press tab to lock it in, go to the cell that we wanna highlight, press comma, and then we're gonna select our column delimiter. And this one, I'm gonna press quotations, semicolon quotations, and press parentheses to lock it in. And then I'll go ahead and press enter. And then we can see very simply that the text split function splits out the product charger, the quantity, and also the price. And if I just copy this, I can drag this down and also we can see that it works for every single item that we have here. And what's great about this is that there's no manual text to columns, no clicking through dialog boxes. It's just one dynamic formula and you can combine text split with our cleaning stack. So it splits and cleans at the same time. So if you wanna add text split to our trim, clean, and substitute function, you can go ahead and do that. And that formula would remove invisible junk, replace weird spaces, it would trim everything, and it would split the data cleanly across different columns. And boom, 10,000 rows fixed in seconds. So with that said, let's go ahead and recap the data cleaning dream team. You have trim, which removes extra spaces, clean, which deletes invisible junk, substitute, replaces hidden or weird characters, our text split function dynamically separates data and into columns and combined they can turn chaos into clarity instantly. So next time someone sends you a spreadsheet that looks like a digital dumpster fire, go ahead and smile and drop this formula on it. And so if this saved you from hours of cleanup, hit the like, drop a comment saying clean data equals happy analyst and subscribe.